my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today <coughs> I have a treat. We're going to take a look at the tube lattice command. It's really amazing, and um, it is part of the algorithmic modeling uh, portion of NX. And so I'll be showing you algorithmic modeling today and the tube lattice uh, in particular. So. Here I have a little sketch that I'm creating. The base of it, the base of what I'm creating is 100 by 100. Oops. Maybe if I type in the right numbers, it'll be good. Here we go. There we go. So it's 100 by 100. <coughs> and I'm trying to make like a little platform. And I'm going to create a datum plane that's offset from the original by 100 and on that plane I'm going to place another shape it's going to be another square like this it'll be 50 by 50 so I'm making these legs equal length I didn't do that in the last one but it's six and one half a dozen the other so there we go <coughs> we have this these two sketches, and I'm going to put line segments, parametric lines, or I should say associative, between those end points, like so. So I'm making kind of a network of these lines, and I'm going to put a cross patch of lines here and here. This is so easy and um, I've always enjoyed the ability that NX has to do sketches and um, other lines or I should say other curves, the curves ability I think is amazing. Anyway, <coughs> so now I've got this network of curves and of course, if I make changes to the datum plane distance, like so, everything updates nicely. So that is what I start with. Then I go into the algorithmic modeling feature. Uh oh, what, what, what happened? Let's try it again. Oh, oh there we go. I, I don't know what I did there. Um, and what I need is programming blocks. Um, I need to select the curves. So there's my selection of curves programming block. And I need the tube lattice. There's the tube lattice. So I'm going to connect the selection of the curves to the tube lattice. I need an output, so I'm going to right click on that and go for my output. So that's the output. And now I need all of these um, inputs. So the rod size is going to be about uh, uh, five. Um, that's the I'm sorry. That's the node size. I want the node size to be, let's say, uh, ten. The node size, and then the rod size will be five. So it should look pretty cool. We got five here. Fall off distance shall be 20, and the end caps, I'm just creating the inputs, will be round, round end caps, and the resolution will be fine. You have standard, fine, ultra fine, oh, let's go for ultra fine, no, let's go, let's go for fine. <clears throat> okay, so there's my program, and I'm just going to take a moment and make it a little bit nicer to look at, so that when I come back to this, it's a little easier to mess around with. There we go. So, um, now I've got the program. So now let's see what happens when I use the program. So, what I need to do is click on the Select Curve. 
and I could select all these curves just by grabbing them like that and saying OK. And there is my tube lattice. That is pretty good looking. As you can see, when I control H, it is actually a solid. And now I could go and 3D print this thing uh, to my great delight. <coughs> so there you go. Now, the tube lattice that I've created is an algorithmic feature. And if I want to edit the definition, here we go. I can click on Edit Definition, like so. And if I wanted to um, make sure that I could change the height of this thing and the other dimensions, I would have placed inside of my algorithmic feature the ability to change the height of the the, um, the plane. Um, but, you know, I, that's not what I wanted. But, if I want to do that, <coughs> here's the plane. I can edit parameters on the plane, and I can say, instead of just changing the parameters, I could say height equals 90, let's say, and say OK, and the whole thing changes, as you probably saw. And now, of course, I have a user expression, and that user expression, at any time, I can change, and it changes in real time, just like that. It updates automatically. That is pretty cool. So there you have it. You've got tube lattice. You've got algorithm modeling. You've got the ability to create these expressions on the fly. And this is one of the many reasons why I think NX is so powerful. Um, I use it to my great advantage. I think it's a great tool. And uh, tell me what you think. Please like and subscribe if you can, because um, that helps the channel. And it helps people find all of this material. I really enjoy it. Again, my name is Steve Samuel. The company is Design Visionaries. And of course, if you're on my channel, you can see that there's lots and lots of videos. Please uh, check out our website. You can purchase uh, manuals that teach how to do all this stuff. And um, I really appreciate, appreciate it. Happy Friday.